Hey, hey guys, I am here with a moving Q&A today. I asked for you guys to ask questions if you had any over on my Instagram. If you aren't following me there, go ahead and do that. Um, I'll have it come up in the screen. My name is Lynette, for those of you who are new, and my husband and I and our two boys are moving to Florida in a couple weeks, and I'm in the process of packing. Actually, I'm packing today, but I'm taking a little breather right now. The boys are gone, and I decided to take a break and quickly get this thing filmed, if quickly is even in the equation, because you all delivered, you have tons of questions, and I'll do my best and try to answer as many as I can. Um, but yeah, we're moving to Florida if you're new and so this is just a bunch of questions that y'all had for us uh, concerning our move. I did get a few people asking why we're moving to Florida. Um, we did put an announcement video out so I'm not going to go into a lot of detail here but I'll give you the short version. Basically, we were we are from Ohio but we're ready for something different. That's the main thing. We've been thinking about it and praying about it for a really long time and the weather has a little bit to do with it. We are really excited um, to move to a warmer climate. And although we will miss things here, we'll miss people and stuff, we are just excited to make a little bit of a change in our lives and we're excited for the future. But yeah, if you wanna know a little bit more of the why, uh, I'll have that video linked below. So, all right, I have quite a few different places. I've got to look at two different places as to the question. So I'm just gonna begin. Uh, what are you most looking forward to in your new home? I think the thing I'm looking forward to the most is just remodeling it. Um, I am just, I love making things better. I love anything um, like fixer upper style. I, there's just something in me that I guess I have a desire to I don't know, make things look beautiful. I love home design, I love interior design. I'm not really a pro at it or anything, but my husband and I would love to get into that in the future. So I'm just really excited about all the potential that our new house is going to have. Will Nick's job be changing or is he transferring? No, he's not transferring. He will be starting a completely different thing. The main thing that he wants to pursue but will be a side job is real estate. He wants to become a real estate agent. So he's gonna pursue that right away, but obviously that's gonna take time to build up. So he will be working for uh, Brandon Graber down there. We've been in contact with them a lot. They have Graber Homes. He's a real estate agent as well, but their main business is remodeling and stuff. However, they purchased a side uh, business as an investment and Nick is going to be running that. It'll, it'll be like a pool cleaning route. So that, He's gonna be helping Brandon with some of his stuff, like remodeling, getting his feet wet and stuff, hopefully, and also running the pool business for, I don't know, a year or two, we'll see what. Uh, how are the boys feeling? What have you found helpful in making it less stressful for your boys? They're excited. Um, there's been times that they're kind of like sad about leaving people, but to be honest, they're four and five. I don't know that the reality is really sinking in. They love Florida, like they love going there. And so I think emotions have been a little bit stressful the last while. I don't know if it has to do with that, but um, we try not to dwell on like the sad parts of it. Um, but yeah, I think they're excited. Uh, show us how packing is going. Okay, I will be doing that. I'll at least have one video or two. I'll see how that all comes about. How does your family feel about you moving? Will any follow? Um, I am not gonna say specifically as to how each person is feeling, but I know that both of our families support us and while they are sad to see us go, they are also um, okay with our decision. So obviously it's, it's hard on family, I do realize that. Sometimes we've questioned ourselves like, is this the right thing? Um, for our family but God has been opening so many doors and we're just gonna walk through them and I do know that we'll see family now and again um, they'll probably visit as often as they can and we'll try to do the same so yeah there's mixed emotions I'm sure but uh, they are supportive of our decision I think uh, all right what was the most stressful part any advice and what would you do differently next time I am going to assume they mean this whole moving, maybe selling the house thing. 
to be honest we have not had a ton of stress um there was a little bit of stress over the time of figuring out closing that got bumped out and stuff so that was probably a little stressful um it is stressful in the fact that we can't be at the house like working now and i won't be able to get my house ready ahead of time like down there so there's some parts of it that i'm sure are going to be stressful and even in the next couple of weeks yet just with moving and loading and everything but to be honest we haven't been super stressed about anything and i'm really glad about that and do you know anyone in the area you are moving to um we know a couple people um and we've met a couple people since then but really not necessarily my husband has there was another question so i'm just going to try and answer some of the ones that i remember seeing all in one my husband has um some cousins down there and i don't necessarily have any direct relatives my dad has a cousin down there we know them a little bit and so we we were getting to know a couple people but not a whole lot and there was another question asking if i think if there's like a mennonite community i think that was the question and yes there is a mennonite and amish community down there and we've been going down to sarasota for years um as far as like just vacationing and stuff and in the winter especially there's a lot of people vacationing there's a lot of snowbirds and stuff but there is a decent sized mennonite and amish community there so we do know we are familiar with the area and everything that is some of why we chose to go there we we're excited about living in a little bit of a bigger mennonite community and that type of thing i may cover some more of it later what's the first thing you'll unpack in your new house <laughs> that was a good question probably i'll put it this way if if i need to do cleaning that will probably be one of the first things i'll get out because we'll need to clean the house first um but i'm hoping to pack like a box of essentials for like the first night or first day so probably cleaning supplies and like bedding and stuff i don't know uh i don't have a question i just wanted to tell you how much i love you that was from amanda couch <laughs> <laughs> thank you amanda i love you too there's a lot of you guys that have just been super supportive and excited and that makes me excited so thank you all very very much for that and then this one is from yolanda i know her a little bit she's from florida she said what's the one thing that excites you the most about moving to florida well getting to know you um no but probably the main thing that i'm excited about personally is the warm weather and sunshine Sunshine is something that is not very prevalent in Ohio in the winter, and I do not like cold weather. I am okay with it for a little while, like today there's actually snow, um, which is kind of comes and goes quite a bit here in Southern Ohio, but I'm most excited, I think, about the warm weather. My husband says the same thing I asked him, and then I asked the boys what they're most excited about, and they said, uh, Caden said the beach, going to the beach, and, uh, Jack said playing with the sand, so <laughs> you can kind of see their uh, thought process through all of this. I, they're thinking that it's going to be a you know full-time vacation probably, which is not true. But in any case, we will have um, access to a beach and, and sand, of course. What's your favorite thing about the new property? Um, I would say something that I'm really, really excited for is the new floors. I just hope they look like they like they did it like in the little sample or whatever and i most i'm really really excited to redo our stairs there in our big open um living area i'm excited about that uh but i don't know if that's what they were asking about or not do you have a similar school set up for the boys uh yes it'll be similar i'd say i don't homeschool but um it'll probably be similar mennonite school of some sort are the prices for homes pretty similar in Ohio and Florida? No, <laughs> they are not, at least not in this area of Ohio. I would say we didn't give quite double for the house down there, but almost um, if we were to buy that size house, which is actually similar in size to the house we're in now. It just feels a lot, it feels bigger. Um, but yeah it's it's definitely the prices are a lot higher down there and you get a lot less house for that are you guys going to miss the snow are you going to miss the snow uh not really i'll miss it you know that first snow and you know that kind of thing we're hoping we can usually come up over christmas and stuff 
So obviously that it's not always a guarantee that there's snow, but I'm sure I'll miss it eventually. I'm going to miss the seasons, like the seasons changing and stuff. I will miss that part of it, I know. So it's not going to be all roses, I'm aware of that. Uh, are you planning on keeping the same theme in your new house or completely different? I think I got that a couple different times. There's another one that asked, are you going to go with the same decor style or a more beachy feel? Um, no, to be honest, I am going to be changing up my style of decor. I haven't figured it out completely yet, but it's going to be, I'm going to have a lot of white. A lot of my walls will be white, um, and then I'll do more of a modern farmhouse boho maybe at this point is what it's looking like I don't know yet I haven't figured it out completely but I do know that I'm steering away from the more traditional um, things we're selling our sofas and that that type of thing so this was a good opportunity we don't, we don't want to take a lot of extra things anyway who will be completing the work you started on ripping up floors etc um, Brandon Graber will be doing a lot of it he'll be in charge of it he'll be putting in the flooring taking care of that and We'll have the ceiling scraped, as I mentioned in another video, someone else is doing that. But other than the flooring and some other smaller things, we're gonna be doing we're gonna be doing that after we move in. It'll just be a work in progress. Nothing is gonna happen really fast, obviously. We uh, have a written budget, so obviously our finances are gonna change as we move down there. We'll have to make some changes in all of that. So I'm sure the progress isn't gonna be just everything will get done really fast. It's gonna be take time and we'll do it as we have the money for it. We don't wanna go into debt to get all the furnishings and that kind of thing. I don't wanna do that and so it's just gonna take a lot of time. We're, we'll just uh, do what we can as we can. How are you moving everything in one trip? That was from Addie, my friend Adeline Zook, here on YouTube. I think that's what she meant. If we're moving everything in one trip. Yes, we are. We will be taking um, two cargo trailers. They're like 16, 18 foot trailers. Uh, my dad has one and he'll take his truck and one rig. And then we have another friend and wife from the community here that will be taking the other load for us. If we have to have more, we could pull a U-Haul trailer behind the Yukon yet, but... Nick says um, we'll have to fit it all in two trailers. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that'll work. I'm a little skeptical, but. Jen Horning said, can I come visit you when I'm plum tired of winter in PA? <laughs> you certainly can. Uh, who's making the move to Florida? How does your family feel about the move? P.S. I love your videos. Thank you. Uh, okay, I covered some of that already, I think. Yeah, my family will be helping us. We aren't hiring any movers or anything. We're We'll have help loading everything here from church people and family and whatever. And then down there, we'll have some help with um, unloading and that type of thing. Is there a Mennonite community for y'all to have support from and homeschooling? Okay, I answered those two. Are you planning... Okay, hang on here. Are you worried about hurricanes? What is your favorite decor decorating style? The hurricanes, uh, I haven't gotten too worked up about it, but obviously I'm sure I would be scared. I would be probably one of the first ones out if that were to come up. So um, yeah, it, it's a little concerning, but I'm not terribly worried about it. What's your favorite decorating style? Uh, I think I kind of covered that. Okay, one question here. And why did you sell some of your furniture already? Just because we want to get rid of it, I guess. <laughs> um, we haven't actually gotten rid of a ton yet. We got rid of the table. Just it, that's when it worked out for the people to come get it. And I wanted to make sure I had some of my bigger pieces sold ahead of time. So these sofas actually aren't even leaving until the day we are moving out of the house. So a lot of it hasn't actually left yet. So I'm just starting to sell off a couple little things. So this is about a week and a half before we have to be out of the house is when I'm filming the video. So... Um, do you think your parents will move down there? I don't know yet. Possibly in the future. We don't really know. They don't know for sure. I think they'd love to get a, another house if they could afford it at some point. My dad is head pastor of the church here, so that's not really an option right now. Um, are you going to have a like-minded Mennonite church and school in Florida or different plans? Yes, churches will be similar like there's similar style churches like our beliefs aren't changing if that's your question right i'm not getting to all of the questions there's one uh she said forget hurricanes sinkholes do they freak you out i haven't really thought of that very much um so i guess i'm not really freaked out about it what about all the cockroaches well i guess i'll find out 
I, I do not like cockroaches, I'm sure. Will you have, will having to spray toxic chemicals routinely around your home to keep them at bay worry you at all? I honestly haven't given it much thought. <laughs> and these are my two reasons for never, never moving to Florida. <laughs> ah, and I don't know, maybe that stuff isn't even as worrisome as you might think, I don't know. When are you moving? Are the boys excited to move? Yeah, they're excited to move. We are moving the day after Christmas, as of now. What are you most excited about? What will you miss the most? How are you going to accomplish the move? Are people helping? Do you have a time limit on how long you want to take to unload boxes? Etc. I'm not gonna read the whole thing. Uh, no, we don't really have a time limit. I'm, I mean, we'll be unloading everything within a couple days time at least, if not a day or two, something like that and we'll have help with those who are helping us move down. Another question in another set of questions was why Florida? Will you work? I don't know, do you mean me work specifically? No, I don't plan to besides for YouTube at this point. Um, I don't know, down the road I might consider something and I don't have anything lined up. So YouTube does definitely take up some of it and I'm sure I'll be having a lot of new content to share and everything. What has been your most dreaded room to pack? Regardless of where you live, what items would always make you feel like it is home? Do you think you'd ever decorate with flamingos? <laughs> no, I can't see myself decorating with flamingos. I'm not really that type of person, but everyone likes different styles, so that would be fine. What is the most dreaded room to pack? Um, probably... I don't know. I'm halfway, no, I don't know if I'm halfway done. I'm almost halfway done right now. It hasn't been too bad. Decluttering is the main key in everything. I'd say probably my glassware, like my kitchen stuff, because I feel like I'm gonna have to wrap some things, but I don't have a ton of glass stuff, to be honest, so that helps. Uh, what items would always make you feel like it is home? Our beds, probably. Just some of the day-to-day -day items that we use. I don't know. What was your drawing factor to the new house? What do you love most about it? The drawing factor to the new house, honestly, was probably the open floor plan, like in the main, the living room area. That was probably the biggest thing. It's not what I would call a typical Florida house, in my opinion, what I saw otherwise, like the other houses we were looking at. Uh, this one had a lot more of a I guess maybe it has more of a northern style feel to it and that's maybe why I was attracted to it just because I love I love stairs like that. I just love the whole thing of having an upstairs and a downstairs for right now anyway. So yeah, I'm, uh, what do I love most about it? I think I kind of covered that. Something I I wanted to say that I've gotten questions about was the sunken in living room floor there. It really bothers us, to be honest, but at the same point, at the same time, we don't have the money and the budget to raise up the floor, like to fill it in. And the other thing, well, the main reason being the floor, like the window in the living room would be sitting really close to the floor, actually, if we'd raise up the sunken part. And so the trim, we probably couldn't put up the trim we'd want, and we'd have to move outlets, and it could just become really pricey, and we just, do not have that in our budget right now to do it so we're just gonna try and make the best of it and work with it i know that some of you guys had wondered and yeah i'd love to do it but i don't we just kind of decided we can't how often will you be able to see your ohio family i don't really know honestly i hope as often as possible are you getting rid of a lot of stuff yes i've gotten rid of a lot is it overwhelming what looks the biggest to you yeah i don't know i'm not i'm honestly not as stressed about it as I thought I might be, but maybe once the actual moving part loading and everything, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not incredibly stressed about it. Um, she was asking some of these questions because they're thinking of moving long distance. Um, well, blessings to you. I hope it goes well and I could probably tell you more once I'm actually moved, <laughs> how it, how it'll be. How far will you be from Pinecraft? Uh, several miles. You can't really go by the miles down there. You have to go by actually how long it takes to drive it <laughs> due to all the traffic. Um, so, you know, it depends. Do you need help unpacking? Well, uh, I don't know. I'm probably not really because I'll probably do it 
as I get the time. Plus my mom and my siblings will be there, so I'm guessing I'm okay with that. And Emily Ma from Scratch asked also what are the mo what are you most excited about for the new place? Something else I'm excited about is just the fact that we'll be living in a really, well, it's not a really big town, but it is for me. Like it's a lot bigger here. It's a pretty small town and we have to drive quite a bit, you know, to get to bigger places. And I mean, I'll have a target within 10 minutes from me, <laughs> actually several targets. So I'm really excited about that because uh, I, we both, Nick and I both love more your city feel, but we're not exactly in the city. So like we're kind of out of the main hub of it. So that is exciting to me. Um, it's still really easy to access, but um, it's still not, you know, quite in the thick of everything. But yeah, I'm excited to have a lot more at our fingertips. Plus, we're excited to have, you know, beach close by and that sort of thing. And I think I'm gonna quit with that because I, there's some more, but a lot of them are similar. Some aren't really related to the move at all. So I apologize for that. But anyway, I've been rambling on really long and I hope the video isn't gonna be extremely long, but I hope that you enjoyed it. And I think that's it. I hope you guys stick around. If you're new, hit the subscribe button and I'd love to have you join us. So I hope you all bear with us in the next couple weeks as I kind of um, am a little bit more sporadic with everything, but I'm trying to not feel as pressured in putting out content and comparing myself to other YouTubers and stuff, which is a little hard sometimes, but I just wanna be um, real with you guys and I don't wanna like force myself to put out stuff and cause extra stress on myself. Um, so I hope you all understand and I know that you guys do. You have been really super supportive of all of this. So just pray for us if you pray and we really appreciate everything. And I'm gonna leave it at that. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.